in this video we're going to dive into how to find some epic campsites because if you're anything like me, you follow people on Instagram, you follow people doing van life or traveling around Australia, and all you see is people at these epic campsites. But the good news is there is actually no secret. It is quite simple to find some really epic campsites around Australia. So if you don't know me, welcome. My name's Sarah. I run a travel blog called Escape With Me. Now we're all about traveling, camping and adventure around Western Australia. So if you are thinking of visiting Western Australia, then definitely jump over to the blog for some inspiration. And we also have some really valuable camping tips and tricks over there as well. All right, so let's dive into Google Maps. Yes, I know what you're thinking, Sarah, everybody knows how to use Google Maps. This is true. There is a very simple way to use Google Maps and there is also another way to utilize Google Maps to finding epic campsites. All right, so everybody knows how to navigate to a destination on Google Maps, right? But one of the things that you need to take note of is all of the national parks along the route that it's taking you. So have a quick look and see if there's any nature reserves that you might wanna go. Because a lot of the times in those nature reserves or national parks, there's gonna be awesome campsites. Now that's a really good way to kind of find a campsite and then you can kind of dive into it deeper and do a little bit more research into finding a little bit more information about the campsite. Now the other really good way is to change it to the satellite setting. So what you'll be able to do then is actually zoom in and see if there is any campgrounds or beaches that you might be able to camp on. So here is an example of what a campsite might look like on Google Maps. And we can see here it says La Grande Beach Campground. So again, we know it's a campground. This is really basic Google Maps, but you can obviously like click on it. You've got photos of the campsite and you've also got a lot of reviews. So that's pretty, pretty simple. But one of the things that I like to do is actually put it on the satellite setting, which is just up here. Obviously you've got your default, your satellite and your terrain. And that you can zoom in and you can actually see a little bit more about the area. You can see that, yes, you can drive on the beach here. Um, you can see that there's a campsite there and you can get a bit of an understanding on what the campsite layout is going to be like, whether it's just going to be like a big old car park or it's actually a nice little campsite like this one which is surrounded by bush and yeah, all the campsites look pretty, pretty spaced out, which is pretty cool. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can actually save these locations. So I already have this saved, but you can click this button here and you can go start places, favorite, travel plans, blah, blah, blah. And you can obviously save that for a rainy day. Now, the only issue I have with Google Maps and using it this way is you can't use this offline. Now, a lot of places in Australia are quite remote and especially in Western Australia, there are a lot of locations where you won't have reception. So using Google Maps sometimes isn't an option. All right, guys, the next one is Wikicamps. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Yes, Sarah, this is nothing new. A lot of people have heard of Wikicamps, but using Wikicamps, you can find some epic campsites around Australia, but there is a little bit of, you know, tips and tricks on learning how to use this app. Personally, when I first got the app, I actually didn't find it very user friendly. So let me show you how I use it and hopefully it can help you find those epic campsites around Australia. So this is the app. You do have to pay for this. It is $15, but it's a one-time purchase. And I think as far as apps go, that's pretty reasonable if you ask me. So once you sign into the app, you'll get all of these little um, pinpoints coming up. So the green ones are in reference to campgrounds. You've got caravan parks, hostels, day use areas, points of interest, and just familiarize yourself with what those um, little pictures are. And then that way you can easily navigate through the app and the map. The other thing to note is you can actually filter out other things like free camps, paid camps, um, camps that allow dogs, campsites with toilets, because not all campsites around Australia have toilets. So definitely something to consider if 
maybe you're traveling in a van, you don't have a toilet and a shower, and you need to find a campsite with a toilet and a shower, then that way you can toggle those options on and off while you're um, using this map. Um, so utilizing this in conjunction with Google Maps and the satellite, you can find some pretty epic campsites. Here we go. So we've got Mullinup Beach. This is a beach campsite I really want to check out. And just like Google, it has details, reviews, fees, and photos. So definitely take your time to read these. The reviews can be very helpful. Personally, I think they're invaluable because people are gonna give you really important information. Say for example, you're going to a four wheel drive only campsite. Someone might've written a review from a day ago that warns you about a big puddle in the road or it warns you about how rough or corrugated the road is or how easy the four wheel drive track is. So yeah, the reviews are very useful and they're usually very relevant. The photos are also super important. Always really great to have a little look at them. Um, I hate it when you see people's tourist photos on here. That's not what the photos should be for. It should just be able to show you maybe the campsite, the facilities, or a potential bay that, you know, this, this obviously sits on the beach, but it might show you a little bit about the bay that's, um, the campsite's really close to. So as we can see, pretty useful. Here we go. We've got like a little day use area. We've got a single site. So that's really interesting to, to actually see what the campsite's going to look like when you get there. Um, so yeah, very, very helpful. Very, very handy to have the satellite function on this map as well. Um, I personally prefer to navigate just using normal um, and then kind of switch it out to satellite if I want to dive a little bit deeper into what the bays are going to look like or the campsites, for example. So the other really useful option with wiki camps is the fact that you can plan a trip. You might want to plan locations that you want to view. If you have a look at my map here, it's got a green line, which kind of outlines a trip that I'm planning. So I am planning a trip down to Esperance and we want to go past Albany and do a little, like, little bit of beach hopping along the south coast. And so what I've done is I've put in all of my like points of interest that I want to go to. And then what it does, where are we? Home, trip planner. If we press this little menu button here, it'll show you the trip. It shows you how far in between all of the campsites or you know your destination. So if you need to pick up fuel or food or anything like that, then you can add those points along the way. But for me personally, one of the best things is you can use the trips you plan offline. So a lot of times I'll start looking at my trip on Google Maps and then I kind of transfer it into here and do a bit more diving and digging into where exactly I want to go. And then I save my trips on wiki camps because in that way, when I reach areas that I don't have reception, then you have a map, you have your points of interest and it has all of that information in there for you if you have no reception. And this also has a satellite option as well. So you can definitely, you know, zoom in really close and check out those bays similar to Google Maps, but again, it's offline. So my suggestion is to save as many points of interest on your trip. And if you don't go there, it doesn't matter, but at least you have them on your map if you go offline. All right, so the last app that I love to use it's not really gonna help you find epic camp spots, but it helps you optimize the best weather. Because at the end of the day, you might go to Esperance, which is a beautiful place to visit, but you haven't optimized the weather. So it doesn't end up being an epic campsite. It ends up being an absolute disaster. So being able to optimize the weather is super important when you're trying to find an awesome campsite. Now, the app that I use is called Predict Wind. And the reason I love this app is because it shows you obviously a map of wherever you are. It shows the direction of the wind and it shows the speed of the wind. So let's look at Perth. So at the moment, we've got blue and a little bit of aqua and a little bit of green. If you look down the very bottom, that indicates the speed of the wind. And then there's also the direction of the wind as well. So at the moment, the wind's only about 10 k's an hour, which is awesome. But again, 
If we're going down to Esperance, which is over here somewhere, where are we? Esperance is renowned for being super duper windy. So you really want to optimize your, you know, the weather. And this thing does like a really good forecast. So it predicts the wind for seven days. So say you're in Esperance on this day here where it's blowing a gale, you might want to choose bays that are protected from the wind. And here you can obviously just zoom in and try and find bays that might be protected from the brunt of the wind. So say, for example, you might want to go visit this little bay here, which is protected from the wind. So the other great thing about this Predict Wind app is if you are traveling with a boat or a tinny, or if you like fishing, it does also have a wave map. So where are we? So again, it shows the direction, the swell height. So it's color coordinated. So here we've only got like two meter swells around Western Australia at the moment, maybe some three meter swells, but it's very, very mild. So this is a really, really great app if you are traveling around Australia with a tinny um, and you're looking for those awesome beach campsites um, to launch your tinny or go spear fishing or maybe you're into kite surfing, that kind of thing. This is just a really great app. So just as important as finding epic campsites using a map or a tool like Wikicamps, having a really good weather app like this is going to help you find those Instagram worthy campsites. So I really hope this video was helpful. These are just some of the tools, the tips and tricks that I personally use to find epic campsites. And I know that a lot of other travelers use these tools and tips and tricks as well. So if you did like this video, please give us a like, subscribe for everything travel, camping and adventure around Western Australia.